Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Happy Friday and good afternoon. Welcome to Win Home on Afternoon Express, your favorite show to get you into the weekend. My name is Danilo Aquisto. Now, as you know, South Africa's premier interior design reality competition is proudly brought to you by Private Property. And each week, we follow the journey of our three design duos as they transform cluster homes at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate from white box spaces into lavish homes, one room at a time. Be sure to let us know what you think of their efforts on social media using the hashtag WinAHome. And I love reading all of your tweets. It's been an exciting journey thus far. So let's have a quick look back at what happened last week when the master bedrooms were revealed. Last time on Win a Home, the design duos didn't rest on their laurels to decorate the master bedroom. At the final countdown, yours truly did not get a warm welcome. This time, I'm not even allowed inside. That's right! But when all was said and done, the design duos delivered dream-like spaces. Team House and Leisure were commended on their soft and restful retreat. Walking into this room, Team House and Leisure, I'm immediately transported to a place of just happiness. Team VC created a modern master bedroom that the judges loved, and some would describe as sexy chic. Bed mirror, recipe for babies. <laughs> Team Habitat wowed with their decadent yet contemporary room that rarely impressed guest judge David Muirhead. Versace on the dance floor. The designs were so good there was almost a tie, but one design duo rose above the rest. The winner of the Master Bedroom Challenge is Team VC. Yeah. Now that all the design duos have won a challenge, the heat is truly on in the competition. I think it's appropriate to say flames as our design duos are definitely feeling the heat. Not only in the form of huge pressure, but it's also their proverbial wallets that are burning. Our design duos have a cash budget of 300,000 Rand each for the entire house. That's in addition to all the sponsored elements. And after the master bedroom challenge, Team Habitat has 114,000 Rand remaining. Team VC has 104,000 Rand remaining. And Team House and Leisure is in serious trouble with only 85,000 Rand left for their cash budget. In terms of high-end interior design, that's not a lot of money. And our design duos have three spaces left to decorate with an expensive one next. Hello, contestants. It's time to get cooking as it's challenge time again. The next room is the heart of the home. It's a room that's required to be more functional than pretty as it serves an essential function in the home. It feeds the family. Your next challenge is the kitchen. I'm quite excited about doing a kitchen because it's, every, like it's, a, it's like the central space of a home. At the heart of the home. You know, so, so it's quite important. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat in a home. We don't want our guests to starve. No. <laughs> so it's quite a big pressure and we hope to do our best. Yeah. Both of us have experience in the kitchen industry. Paul worked at a kitchen company and so did I. So we do know how it works, but time is, is not on our side. Yeah, because most of the time doing a kitchen requires like, uh, it's not a two weeks challenge. So pulling this, it's gonna be quite amazing. You'll have just 10 days to design a multifunctional and breathtaking kitchen. Now I know you guys have been working really hard up until this point, and I've been pretty harsh on you. So we at Winner Home have decided to give you a teeny tiny cash bonus to reward you. How would, say, 5,000 Rand sound added to your budget? Yes! How about an extra? <laughs> 10,000 Rand. Yes! What happens if I told you I'm giving you 20,000 Rand for your next challenge? I'm so excited that I fall off my chair. It, I just couldn't believe the amount. I thought getting like 5,000 and it's like 20K. And I had to catch you. 20,000 Rand! Well, of course I'm over the moon. I feel like I've just won the challenge. It's gonna be a Sandia kitchen. Mm, razzle dazzle them and chop it up. Yes. 
20 grand is just what we needed. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're going to use it and use it and use it some more. Yeah. <laughs> I also have another surprise for you. Courtesy of Clicks, you'll also be getting an extra 10,000 Rand voucher for anything you'll need from the Clicks stores to make your kitchens shine. Oh my word! <laughs> Danilo was like Oprah. I mean, he was, you get her, you get her, you all get 30,000 Rand! Now we're just balling. <laughs> now we're just balling. That is so super exciting. We can get all, we can save from our budget and use the 10,000 Rand from Clicks to get accessories for the kitchen. And appliances, because they're so expensive. On that note, contestants go forth and design, and I hope you can handle the heat. In their new home, a housewarming gift is always welcome, and thanks to our generous sponsors, the gifts just keep on coming for our design duos. All three teams get premier home appliances by Grundig for the kitchens, and guess what that means? Shopping, shopping, shopping. We're excited to be in Grunig because it's German product and it's like having sports cars in your kitchen. <laughs> Hi guys, I want to say welcome to our Grunig stand here at the Hirsch Fourways. I'm so glad that you guys could join us today. I'm really excited that you guys have chosen Grunig to be your kitchen appliance partner and we're so excited to be a part of the show today. Just some facts about Grindig. We're in South Africa for about four years now. We're a German engineered brand, which means high performance, so you know that you can trust the products. We have a five year warranty on all the products, which means that you have peace of mind for the home that you are designing. So the person that wins that home knows that they have peace of mind on all of their products. So that's really good. If you look at the design of the actual appliance, you'll see that we have the piano key feature, which is for the master class. So that means whoever wins this home has the potential to become the master in the kitchen. The design is music to our ears. I mean, they've designed it like piano keys. It's so, a, a piano key oven. Well, how you press those buttons, it's like, ding, ding, ding. Mach nach <laughs> or somebody, <laughs> you just cook it up. Da, 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 da. Yes! Roxanne, we're not quite sure if we should take the bigger oven or the smaller oven. But the thing is, when it comes to baking, we're quite concerned about the space. Okay, yeah, so obviously with regards to the size, it all depends on how big the space you do have. The multifunction oven is, is a great oven to have, but if you have a smaller space, then the microwave oven is actually quite great. You can work independently as a microwave. Also, they have 38 chef assist programs. That means that you can look up recipes, which include baking recipes. And with regards to your question about baking, if you open up the oven, you can easily remove these trays move your grill to the bottom and you can fit in a beautiful cake in there. Yeah, so basically this oven is nice and compact and it has, you know, the both the functions of the microwave and the actual oven. So it's actually a two-in-one. So I don't know if that's going to help you sway your decision a little bit more. Tepo, these are hob options. What do you think? I've been eyeing this guess on glass hob. I think it looks beautiful. And I think because we're going with like the Mont Blanc for our kitchen, it, since it has that classic feel to it, this like the guest stove would work better with it. Yeah, don't you think something more minimal and just something that disappears? Well, I'm not a, I'm not all for minimalism, but then I've you know me. <laughs> 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 I've like I've always had like a thing for traditional looking guest stoves, and so and I feel like with the stone it'll work perfectly. So I don't know what you think. Yeah, I think because our kitchen is quite modern, I think this will be great. And I love that it has an option for using different sizes of pots and the fact that it has like a child lock system. No, we can totally go for it. I like it too. Finally, he agrees. Ah! Ooh, what the fridge? Yes. I gotta have it. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. So tell me, what are you guys leading towards and what are your refrigeration needs? Sure. sure. What, what we, we know we, is yeah. we want a big fridge. Absolutely. Absolutely. The bigger the better. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we saw this one and we liked how it's separate. Yeah. Like in terms of that's the fridge, that's the freezer. Okay. And okay. it's got a lot of freezer space. And which are the other which is the other fridge that you then, sort of leaning towards as well? Then we looked at this one. Oh yes, okay. But then is this one smaller than this one? Well guys, it actually all depends on your needs. So basically this is a side by side, so it's a combined fridge as well. So you have your fridge on one side and you have your freezer on one side, but it's one unit. You've also got a water dispenser in the front um, and an ice maker. The best thing about all our fridges is that it's A double plus, that means it's energy efficient. These two units are actually two separate units. So you have your freezer, 
and then you have your fridge on one side. The best thing is that if you want to separate them, depending on the space that you have in the actual home, you can do that as well. Although, I think it looks good as a pair. So all the essentials that make a kitchen fully functional, we were looking for those items. And they were fab items. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. And the bigger, the better. We've got two fridges, standalone. Yes. yes. Yes, indeed, and the spending spree was not over yet. Wow, sure. shopping at Clicks, we want to fill up those kitchen cupboards. Absolutely. Yes. It's our heart of a home needs yeah. to be hearty, full yeah. of things. Hi, guys, welcome to Clicks. Here are 10,000 rent vouchers. Go and enjoy. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> 10,000 rent, it's like. It's an amazing, like 10,000 was just a bonus. Like, we're gonna buy grocery with this money. Now we're just balling. <laughs> now we're just balling. Yes! yes. <laughs> charge it, charge it, Cambrook! This we is not a iron. choice. We need an iron. iron, we need a digital hand mixer. Charge it. Ah, oh, this is. Uh, 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 shut the clicks, door! No, we need this because it looks exactly like our kitchen. And it's color changing. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Overruled, man! What about this one? Okay, you can have that. I think we want to see our water boil. Yes. <laughs> Take both those toasters. You need both. <laughs> Before the snow comes back, we'll get Sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we've all got the same clicks amount with all the jewelers, it's a competition after all. We might as well maximize that 10,000. Mm. So if you need to take merchandise off the floor so that you make sure your competition doesn't get it, you got to do yes. what you got to do. I checked the weather forecast and apparently there was hurricane up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited, the smart life. Shelf is <gasps> Super blender. I want the yogurt maker because I think whoever gets the house can live a health life. <gasps> We're taking it. <laughs> we that coffee maker. It's perfect. It's perfect because our client loves to drink coffee. And also wine. And but wine and coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Clicks has got merchandise to die for. I mean, every aisle is a winner. You want more, more. And it's got more, more. Our motto for Clicks is. Charge it. <laughs> if we like it and you gotta have it, you just charge it. <laughs> mm. At Bulgatex, a clever app is helping Team VC make their flooring decision. This uh, floor quiz is quite fun. Yeah. The app from Bulgatex is really fun. <laughs> I clicked, she clicked, and then we clicked to become A. And as designers, <laughs> I think we, we're very calm. Mm -hmm. I think that's why maybe we are the air element uh, at Balkatex. The Sehu, Mpo, welcome. Um, did you do the quiz? Yes, yes we did. Definitely. And you came out as? Air. That's it's, what we came out as. It said air. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let me explain to you guys how the system works. What we did is we, we created this collection of products where we have different colors and different designs, different textures, but we, we realized that it's sometimes difficult for the consumer to make a decision. So we took the five elements of life, fire, earth, spirit, air, and water, and we grouped different colors and different ranges together under them. And we then created a quiz that you would do, and when you go through the quiz, you would come out under one of these elements, either fire or earth or spirit or water. And, and you were asking specifically for something that could work in your kitchen environment. So Charleston, I would recommend, and if they, you, as you, you came out in the quiz as air, there you can see the color boxwood out of the Charleston range. Um, is that something that you would consider? That's perfect. And we also love the drains that we see with it. But we want to do like a head and bone technique. We just don't want to have like a plain floor. Because if remember, the wall, the floor, it's our canvas. So if we do like a perfect floor, that's going to blend in nicely with our walls, we'll be very happy. Okay, I agree with you 100%. I think it's quite a nice uh, new trend and fashion to go with the herringbone. It will definitely work. Will it work in the kitchen since it has a lot of moisture and a lot of movement? Definitely, this will work on the floor. Um, it is not wood, so it, it is manufactured in, for the purpose of handling those water areas in the home and in the kitchen environment. So this floor, perfect for kitchen. Mpo, you asked about the herringbone. What I can recommend, for example, is that you combine two shades. So if you look at the lighter color, 
that you would that you are looking at and that falls under that element of air, you could add a darker grey to that. You think the two colours would work? Mm. We'll just have to think about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. You can go and play those other options. I think it will work perfectly. Awesome. Decisions, decisions. From the appliances to the floors and everything in between, our design duos will have to consider every detail to create the right flavor for a winning kitchen, and it doesn't stop there. Still to come on the show, our design duos explore the psychology of color. Stay tuned. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Express yourself. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express, exclusively on SABC3 for a tad bit of design inspiration for your weekend. Now, did you know that of all the colors in the color spectrum, Blue is an appetite suppressant. There are even weight loss plans that suggest eating off of a blue plate to trick your brain to eat less. This is all part of what's called color psychology, and our design duos will have to choose colors very carefully if they want their kitchens to be inviting. And there's no better person to advise them in this field than Plascon's color expert, Claire Bond. We love Claire. We love Claire. And color is essential it's to any design. Crucial. Crucial. Welcome, everybody. It's great to see you here at our Paint Masterclass. Now, the wonderful thing about color and color psychology is that each and every one of us reacts very differently to the colors that you're seeing all around me. So let's have a look at our warm colors. Peach. Orange and peach are fantastic for nurturing. So they're great colors, they've got vitality, and in a space they give the people in the space the feeling that they're happy and they're joyous. Red has the longest wavelength. So you've heard me say before that it's the most stimulating, the most energetic. It's an excellent color for a restaurant because it makes people order more, it makes people want to drink more, and it actually makes people feel happy and they kind of want to dance in the space and enjoy the moment because of its very stimulating wavelength. The orange is quite a, it's a, it's a color of strong vitality and health and it really assists people with moving into challenges. Purple's not as stimulating as your red, orange, and yellow, but it's still a wonderful color for helping people communicate and it allows open communication in a social space so i would use it in a lounge or that sort of thing where you actually want to bring people together and enhance communication yellow is a wonderful color where you want to bring joy into a space so if you have someone in your family who suffers from a little bit of depression or they've got a bit of a melancholy personality yellow stimulates the nervous system and it helps people feel more joy. So it really is a good color for any area. It's not just a color that's great in a kitchen or a bedroom. What's going through my mind regarding the color psychology class is the fact that warm colors are great for the kitchen, especially if you want people to be appetized. And I think that's what you always want. Now let's move into the cool side of the color spectrum. So green is linked to the heart chakra. So that's all about balance in your life. So these days when we really have no connection to nature at all because we're always on our laptops or mobiles, this color comes highly recommended. Then we move into a much more sludgy, olivey green. People averse to green actually need to help others more. They're very independent and very goal oriented and directed towards self. So it's important to introduce green into your life so that you actually give a little bit more. So blue is a calming color. It'll calm your energy down and it'll also make your space feel calmer and much bigger. The deeper blue you go gives a different resonance. So if you go for something like a cobalt or electric blue, it's much more stimulating than a cool blue. So just be careful of that. Paint effects are back and very popular. For me, beautiful translucent layers of color make a space look incredible. 
on top of those layered colors, I would suggest you either go and buy a ready-made stencil or even cut your own stencil because most of you are very artistic. Well, you're all artistic in this room today. Claire, when choosing colors for kitchens, what colors would you recommend to encourage an appetite? I would recommend the orange palette. So as nurturing as the apricots are, the more saturated the color and the more orange, the more it allows people to feel hungry and want to eat delicious food. Color is another thing, especially when it comes to color psychologies and other stuff. You need to know your stuff together. And it's a good thing we are learning that now. On site, it's time to get things started. And Team Habitat meet with their kitchen cupboard supplier and their Caesar Stone accredited fabricator. Our Caesar Stone plans, or our plans for Caesar Stone. Because we love it so much, we want to go wow. So Jonathan and Andrew, we went with them, hit them with the Rolls Royce. What we are actually aiming for, partitions in Caesar <laughs> Stone. Can it slide? Can, will it have to stay still? Can the table go in and out of the island? Wow. You know, what can we do with our budgets? Absolutely, yeah. and what can we do with the time frame? Mm. I'm feeling confident, I'm very happy with the choices. There is a few challenges that they've given us in the kitchen. I also, I also like the idea of the um, blind that they're going to put uh, across the window here as well. I, th I think it might uh, cover the, the doorway and uh, the fridges as well. And they definitely work with, uh, with the right people that would, that's willing to go the extra mile and uh, put in the extra hours to, uh, to meet the deadlines. Yeah, it's a, t it's a tough call, but uh, we're going to do it. Yeah. yeah. At Four Ways Paint and Hardware, Team House and Leisure put their colour psychology lesson into action. He's pretending to be looking at colours. That should be it. Hey, what do you mean I'm pretending? <laughs> Look at all the colours I came up with. You know how stressful <laughs> colour gets to you. <laughs> Ta-da! What is this? This is the silver bed that we've been using throughout the house, and then we we'll could look at those three options and see which one we can work with. Is this for the wall? Yeah, the back of the kitchen units, because we need something that will frame the kitchen units and let the grey stand out better. Since you couldn't stop speaking about Amadeus at Decorex, um, I thought we could use it as our main colour for the kitchen. Oh yes, that's a beautiful colour. I think we can, yeah, we can work with that. It's a lovely colour. Yes. And I think it will be a great contrast with our cabinets and also our Mont Blanc. Definitely. Yes, since we've been shy with colour. <laughs> And then we're still going to introduce that natural wood. So that's a nice combination. As we criticized the last time for using yellow, I thought maybe we could try a green, since you love it so much. Who said I love green? That is your green. Are you starting to confuse yourself with me now? I'm in your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like it. I think we should still go with that. You're not fighting for that green, sorry. The decision is final. And if someone says it's too yellow, <laughs> you're not going to change your mind again? No, I don't think it's yellow. We're not going to change our mind because we don't have much of it happening in the kitchen. The reason why I love Amadeus is it is because it's a neutral one. And then when you're looking at it from a distance, it looks yellow. But then when you put it amongst other yellows, it's not yellow anymore. And it's a warm, comforting color. And I believe that it will complement the space quite nicely. Kitchen appliances have arrived and we're still looking for our, our things in the... Foraging. Yeah. But we're glad that we got everything that we wanted uh, on time and we're going to try and manage to fit them inside the cupboard. They're delivering our Grundig products. We are so excited. They all arrived in one truck, so everybody has to select what theirs. Ooh. Oh, thank you so much, guys washing machine. Oh, fist and dishwasher. With the Grundig appliances on site, it's time for our design duos to focus on serving up exquisitely functional spaces. Yay, there's so much excitement building as the kitchens come to life. But it's time for us to take a quick break and when we come back, our design duos seek sage advice from their mentors and still ahead, we find out how life has changed for last year's Winner Home Grand Prize winner. See you then. In proud 
partnership with Winner Home. The best stone is Caesar Stone. It's great to have you back with us on Winner Home on Afternoon Express on this Friday afternoon. Now, designing a kitchen can be a thrilling adventure, but with so much inspiration out there, it can be overwhelming and one can very easily overspend or let a design venture completely off course. Thankfully, our design duos have seasoned experts as their mentors. What's happening here? Um, we are delayed. So we're supposed to get our cupboards in today, but they have not even painted and they're still plastering and rhino lighting the walls. So, okay, what, how do you look at it now? You've got a fridge. We have a fridge. We have a multifunctional oven slash microwave. So that saves That's us some time nice. as well. That's great. Oh, yes. And Especially with this guy that you're building the place for. Yes, that exactly. is a bachelor. He needs everything to be compact and quick. And quick. And we also have a washing machine and a dishwasher. What's the look going to be like? Because that's where I come in. I like to picture the whole story. So the look and feel we want here is concrete nice. and white. We've gone with the rugged concrete Caesar stone. Fabulous. Which is beautiful. And it has a lovely honed finish. So it's going to be matte. So we want to create a contrast with our cupboards, which are going to be high gloss. And what are the cupboards? White. White ah, you got gloss. your way. Yes. She wanted a, a white kitchen from the start. Yes. We want to get our accessories right, and Anna Marie is giving us tips on how to do that in terms of quantities of accessories and um, how it should be packaged. What we're hoping to get from Tian is actually approval for our cluster pendants. We're trying to avoid the bubble effect again because that will make it too predictable that we're going for that again and again. So the last time we spoke, you had roughly around 12K. Where are we on that? How much have you used? What's left? What still needs to be done? We've planned almost, like we, we considered everything. And yeah. at the moment, after taking everything into consideration, we have 2.5 left, but then we, like, we forgot about the light. Yeah. Not really forgot, but then... Forgot about the light. What have you bought so far? We did not forget. Yeah, not really forgot about they them. Just but just put last. Did, yeah. <laughs> Did you buy the important stuff for long? Yes. I mean, you haven't wasted your money on props no. so far. No. <laughs> Why are you lying to me? I know that you bought something. What have you bought? It's a cake stand. Cake stand. Yes. How much was the cake together? stand? It was a thousand rand. <laughs> so you used half of your budget no, on a no, cake stand. Actually, it was eight hundred rand. Considering that you spend all your budget, is there nothing that we can make or do? Is there some creative kind of like things that we can? turn into something amazing without spending money. He's opposed to do it yourself. Yeah? <laughs> You're not a fan of it. No, you know, no, if you no, think no. of old frames that we can like cover up or collage together or something a little bit, you know, artistic. Is there anything that we can do around that? No. I think so. <laughs> You're not a fan. <laughs> okay, I think cool. so. No, not that I'm not a fan, but I think so. So you're gonna have to make a lamp yourself tonight. You're gonna have to think of ways that's in a, your apartment that you can reuse mm -hmm. instead of spending the cash, because you don't have it. You spend that on your platter, your cake stand. <laughs> the idea. And then I hate over that cake stand. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that you don't have the cake for. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So the biggest lesson we've taken from Amanda is less of J, less of objects that will clutter your space. Yeah, but without losing your aesthetic. Yes, and, and your wildness, your bravery. Who you are. Your boldness, yes. yeah. Welcome. Sure. Amanda, <laughs> welcome to the war zone. That is the kitchen. There's a lot going on sure. here. We've got the guys working nine to five. <laughs> yeah. This basket is fantastic. Sure. Mm. And we're thinking of doing some lighting on it. Right. Maybe some chandeliers. No chandeliers. <laughs> We've done with chandeliers. <laughs> so this is where we started off in terms of the inspiration for the kitchen. So and we, this is where you got the basket. Absolutely. Yeah. And we thought an island with like a Caesar stone seater that will seat six to four. Because we wanted to create a dining room yes. part of the kitchen. You know, you utilize perfect. the openness of the space. Yes. Yeah. Well, there isn't much space, so yes. this is a good way of doing it. Yes. 
And yeah, then we also wanted to do like here yeah, with the white and the dark wood mix. Yes. Yeah. So as you see there, we've got some wood yeah. that's gonna go up. Yeah. Drilled up into these walls. Yeah. And what do you think of the color? That's ivory pillar. We thought let's go for a color that induces it's people different. to eat. <laughs> with the pink red undertone. Mm. I'm so impressed with what you've done so far, what you've created. Um, you've definitely hit the nail on the head. I'm just wondering, are there any surprises in store? Because how your personality is going to come through, there's always something over the top. <laughs> and I refer to the previous rooms with chandeliers Absolutely. in every single one. No, there's always a surprise. Absolutely. No, there has to be. In our sleeve. <laughs> but there's some it's, like it's, a lot, it's a lot more demure in our minds, because mm. we're bringing in a ladder, but that ladder is going to actually be a giraffe. Mm. So when you're climbing to get those top parts, you're actually climbing a giraffe. Yes. Yeah. But well, yes. you had to continue with the animal thing. Absolutely. Yeah. It's too late to let go of the animals. Yeah. We've thought it out and we've reeled ourselves in, mm. but had a little bit of Razzle and dazzle. Yes. Not too much. No <laughs> more chandeliers. Oh, Amanda, but just one. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a very big one. It's so lovely. <laughs> if you are keen to see the Winner Home Houses in person, then this Sunday is your chance. The Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate is hosting a Heritage Day Festival this Sunday, the 24th of September from 10 a.m. There'll be food and craft stalls and plenty to enjoy for the whole family. And even our own Clem will be doing a cooking demo. Plus, if that wasn't enough, the three winner home units will be open to view. Go to eyeofafrica.co.za for ticket information and come and experience the largest prize on South African television for yourself. And you can also meet the wonderful design duos. Remember the Winner Home Grand Prize is your choice of one of the three design duos homes with premier home appliances by Grundig and luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone. It's a prize worth more than three million rand and it could be yours. So really, if you have not entered yet, now is the time. Simply visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. By doing so, you'll also automatically be entered into the bi-weekly prize giveaway. And I'll be announcing our latest winner of that bi-weekly prize giveaway directly after these. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon, designed for life. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. It's almost the weekend. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express, exclusively on SABC3. Now, if you visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo, you not only get entered into the Winner Home Grand Prize, but you also stand a chance of winning our bi-weekly giveaway. The winner of our most recent prize is... Stephen Hobbs from Kluif in Durban. Congratulations, your vote for Team VC has won you a Sealy Posturepedic mattress and base set worth almost 15,000 Rand. Now, because we've started a new design challenge, we also have a new giveaway. And keeping up with the kitchen theme, the latest prize is a Grower Eurocube Sink Mixer Professional valued at over 12,000 Rand. So, enter now. Who knows, your dreams of owning your own home could come true, as they did for Palesa Moisi, who last year became the grand prize winner of Winner Home Season 3. Winner Home not only launches the careers of the winning designers, but it also transforms the lives of the lucky viewers that win the grand prize, who become owners of amazing properties. You now we've had three seasons of Winner Home already, and that's three lives changed. Uh, you know, viewers just watching the show, entering online, uh, and ultimately walking away a, a multi-million rand designer home. So that's what's at stake here. It's a massive prize. I mean, Danilo stands up every week and says it's the biggest prize on TV, and it certainly is. Uh, so it's going to be great giving that away again. Um, certainly not something that I ever get blasé about, that we can be a part of something so big. And for a business like Private Property, which is all about marketing beautiful homes, it makes sense to be partnering with a show that gives one away.
A fully decorated apartment worth over 3 million rand at the Valdivia Estate in Cape Town seemed like an impossible dream for the fourth-year student Palessa Moisi. But the 26-year-old from Bloemfontein entered the grand prize competition and won! So, Palace, it's been a year since you won a home. Catch us up. Yeah, it's been hectic, but nice as well. I've been living here for some months now, since I got the home, and it's been a life-changing moment. Yes. Quite a change in student life in the Free State. What's the plan for the rest of the year? The plan is I'm going to move to Bloemfontein and finish my studies and rent this while I'm away, then come back home and enjoy my lovely house. So let's get serious for a second. Did winning a home really change your life? It changed my life big time. I know and I love Cape Town now. I didn't know Cape Town at first, and I'm living in this luxurious life, knowing places around South Africa that I didn't know before. So it, it really changed my life. Was it really easy to win a home? I just entered once. I didn't even know you win a house, hey? I just entered because I love the kitchen that Mininta was doing. And then I was just voting for the kitchen. And then I won. Then I have a home. <laughs> what would you say to some of our viewers who perhaps aren't going to enter because they think it's a difficult process? You know, for this competition, you don't have to vote to win. You have to vote for the best designers. Then you can win. Yes, that's what I did, and I won. Only once, and I won. Well, Palessa, it's been really good catching up, but any last words for my favorite people in the whole world, our viewers? I'm gonna give you that camera over there. Go for it. Good luck, everybody, for this fourth season of Winner Home. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. Everybody loves that winning feeling and it's exactly what our design duos are looking for. One small victory that they must attain is working within their budget. Something we all know they're not great at, even though they got a 20,000 Rand boost. So for the revised budgets, Team Habitat allocated 70,000 Rand for their kitchen, while Team VC allocated a similar 68,000 Rand, which includes their 3,000 Rand reward for winning the Master Bedroom Challenge. Team House and Leisure, however, has the smallest budget with only 57,000 Rand and they'll need some ingenious solutions to deliver a kitchen that still looks high-end without those exorbitant costs. Good luck, you two. Now, someone should probably take a look at those kitchens, right, and see if any ingredients are missing. Well, that person is moi. At the halfway mark of the previous challenge, Team VC faced some big decisions. It's happened again this time round with choosing paint colour for the kitchen wall. We're going to test two colours. We're going to test our jungle. What's the name of the colour again? But we didn't test it. No, did you buy the paint? Yeah, it's there, the but yeah. we never painted it. Did we paint already? Yeah. With black? Charcoal. Let's scream me over there. The agreement was that we're going to try with the green first and then after go with the black because if it's easier to apply a black on top of a green, so, if in that case it's already done with the first one, it's perfect. We can work with it. We know they can design a master bedroom, but can they design a functional kitchen? Team VC, what's up? Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you guys? You know, good, good, good. Listen, the progress looks great. The kitchen looks glorious. Take me on a grand tour. Okay, so this is our sink area. Mm. We're currently standing in our dishwasher. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and as we move on, this is our cooking area where we mm. have all our beautiful Grundig products. Yep. And the colour scheme. You guys seem like you're thinking in black and white here. Well... Kind of. <laughs> uh, we were fighting about the black colour. Okay. And yeah, I didn't like the Tribeca, but Lisa yeah. loves it, so... You just gonna have to go with it. So it's, I think it's gonna look amazing. So it's warming up on you. It's coming out all right. You know what I like about the idea is that it almost could be practical. It feels like it could be a chalk wall. You could write your grocery list down. You can write a menu when your guests are here. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And it also brings a drama to our kitchen. Yeah. Because we've gone with gray and white, which can be a bit dull, um, I think the black just gives it a bit of a pop. Lovely. So from a very bright and colorful master bedroom to quite a neutral kitchen with these blacks and whites, I mean, how are you guys gonna draw the whole home together? Because we're getting to that point now. 
So the aim was to match everything into natural colors. So if you look at all our colors, they're all kind of like natural. You have your greens, you have your orange there and there. So it's more of using white, it's also natural. It tones everything down. So with this space, Connecting to the lounge, we're planning to tone it down a little bit. So I'm a man, I'm a practical person and I love the kitchen. So as much as I dig the aesthetics in this space, talk me through some of the practicalities and let's do a tour of those. So imagine you're standing next to the prep bowl and you're chopping. Underneath there you're going to find like your bean. Ah, okay, I see. So yeah. you just almost scrape things you just into the bin as you would. Into the bean. So it's okay. quite more practical. You don't need to move all the way into that other side to in order to get that practicality. Here we have your grocery cabinet. So everything that you can take from the fridge into those kind of things. Okay. So we have we have we're working with our kitchen triangle, yeah. which is the dynamic space living where you don't need to move too far to get to what you need. That's why we added in our prep bowl here so that you can rinse your veggies and everything without going all the way over there and coming back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trendy kitchens are smart kitchens. So where do you incorporate the technology here? Well, my favorite part of the technology in this kitchen is our power dock, which is quite smart because you can put it away. Um, so when you don't need to use electricity, you can just put it away and it's quite uh, yeah. quiet. But you just pull it up and you have all the plugs so you can charge your phone, charge your laptop while you're in the kitchen doing your thing. Well, you two, good luck. Let's make it a second challenge win in a row. So much pressure. Good luck. <laughs> I'll see you at completion date. All right, all right cheers, D. Okay. So, like, what do you think of how things are coming together? Share your thoughts using hashtag winnerhome on your mobile devices right now. Team VC want to prove that they're not a flash in the pan after their first challenge win, but Team Habitat and Team Health and Leisure want to reclaim that crown. So after the break, we'll check in on their progress. Stay right where you are. I'm just putting my phone away and I'm loving reading all the tweets that are coming through. Hashtag Winner Home. Keep them coming. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now we've reached the halfway mark of the kitchen design challenge and both Team Habitat and Team House and Leisure hope that they've got the recipe for success to another taste of victory. Team House and Leisure found themselves in every interior designer's nightmare where their caviar taste didn't match their tinned tuna budget. But the bonus cash and generous sponsorship might be their kitchen's saving grace. Well, it seems like there's no one here from Team House and Leisure. Tempo, Vanelle. I'm here. Where? Here. Ah. Oh, <laughs> there you are. How's it going? Good and you, Danilo. Like it's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So what are you doing behind the fridges? I was checking out the positioning of the things if they're going to get it right. Okay, stunning. But then otherwise everything is looking good. It does look good. I like your cabinetry. I like this island in the middle here. It looks a bit skewed though. So how's it going at halfway mark? They're not yet done with the island. So it'll be fine once they're done. A good designer knows how to incorporate both functionality and good design aesthetic and do that all within a budget. So how have you managed to do that in your kitchen? Functionality-wise, we decided to keep like everything on the one side and have like a preparation area in the center of the kitchen. So in that corner, we'll be having our double fridges. And then from there, you move on to your stove. And in that corner, it'll be our double sinks. So next to the sinks, we have our dishwasher and our washing machine. And what about the design aesthetics in the kitchen? From a design perspective, we chose like the color, the plascon color of the air, which is the Amadeus. And then we tried to contrast that with the dark storm grey wood finish and Harvard cherry, which that material we've been we used in our spare room and the main bedroom. So that ties all those rooms together. Nice ideas, but I'm not hearing challenge winning ideas from you guys in the space. What do you believe are the are the show stoppers for you? Because everybody's got an island, everyone's got paint on the wall, and everyone's got cabinetry. What makes yours so unique? I think what makes it unique, well, I haven't seen the other guys' kitchen, but then simplicity is always key. That's what I believe from a design perspective. Not complicating the life of the person who's gonna use this space. I like that. All right, so what still needs to be done before we get to completion? What needs to be done? They still need to paint our skating, touch up the ceiling line, and our hop still needs to go in, scissor stone tops needs to go in. There's still quite a bit that needs to be done. Our doors are not in yet, so 
I'm trying not to panic because Bunny is not here. I'm by myself today, so oh I my need God. to keep myself together. Well, don't stress too much. Get back to the work. I want to see a beautifully simple kitchen by the end of this, all right? We on it. Good stuff. Good luck, dude. Thanks. Team Habitat are hoping to create a kitchen that is the toast of the competition. Hello, Team Habitat. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the kitchen. Yeah. Thanks so much. What's cooking in the kitchen? Sure. sure. Well, unfortunately, we could make you some sundae with some whipped cream, but we're saving the whipped cream mm. for our skirtings and our walls. Is yeah. that the name of the paint? That's the name the of the paint. paint. Yeah. Yes. I like How the shape of that. Pascal. But you guys can serve me up some drill bits and some screws and some Absolutely. wood. That's all we got right now. <laughs> and some shelving cabinetry, <laughs> metal things. <laughs> Measuring up here. <yeah. laughs> well, listen, it's only the halfway mark. You guys got lots of time to get this complete, but it's looking like you're making good progress. Uh, what's the idea in your kitchen? Sure, we wanted to create an open kitchen. Yes. Yeah, the barcade dining room is going to be a big feature. So we're going to bring in Caesar Stone from where we're standing all the way to the end of the balcony. Yeah, yeah. And then have some seating on the other side. So basically we've just lowered the ceiling. It's to create a focal point for the kitchen mm. and a dining room extension. So it's basically just highlighting the main entertainment area. And it's going to be highlighted once that lighting's up. Honey, not even a neon highlighter could compete with this bulkhead and our lighting. <laughs> However, this bulkhead extends all the way from the kitchen quite deep into your lounge area, which is another space for another challenge. Yes. yes. Well, we wanted to use the open area space, yes. the kitchen and lounge, to not just have two rooms, but three rooms. Because you have a kitchen, you have a dining mm. room, and then you have a lounge, yeah. so which is all open plan. Yeah, buy two and get the third one free. Mm. <laughs> so it is. I don't quite know if I've bought into that, because it's a very small space, and you guys are cluttering it with lots more extra bits and bobs. And Birdie has also told me that you guys have got other little surprises to add to the space. Like? <laughs> you must tell the birds to stop chip chip chirping. <laughs> but we do have a few surprises. Like we've got a ladder coming in yeah. to help you get up and down to the pots right at the top. Because yeah. we wouldn't want you to jump up and down no. like a netball player. No, it's not an aerobics. No, <laughs> no this is a functional yeah. kitchen. Yeah. So, a giraffe coming. Oh, wow. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, you better carry back. through the animal theme. <laughs> it's only right if you've got a zebra and a lion's den. Mm. There needs to be the tallest animal in the land. But the question everyone wants to know from you two, what's happening with the lighting? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still in debates, but we're getting lighting definitely to light up this bulkhead. Because mm. what's the point of having a beautiful bulkhead if no one can see it? And it seems that the word chandelier is forbidden. <laughs> so let's say we're going to light it up with some chandelier lighting inspired lights. <laughs> One thing that was not raining in this competition is obviously the money. Brad, has he been looking after your budget? We... <laughs> like my waistline. <laughs> I've been trading in a fine line. Yeah, we've been watching that budget, but it's been... A bumpy road. <laughs> but I would definitely say yeah. we've behaved and we've stayed within the budget and tried to make everything fall within that. Mm. So that's how the minimalistic feel of the kitchen has come about. Mm. Stunning. Dead Island is approaching fast. What still needs to be done? Sure, the Caesar Stone needs to come in. We're doing the Caesar Stone tops, the, road, the yeah. Caesar Stone dining room. Obviously, we don't have doors, as you can see on our cabinets. That's not part of the plan. Not open plan doors as no, well. No, no, no. The doors are definitely coming in with door handles. All the grinding products. Backsplashes. <laughs> All of yeah. There's quite a lot. Yeah. Lots still to be sure. done, and time is always limited. I do not want to see a stressed a beer and brand at the completion <laughs> date, all right? I hope not. All right, good luck, you two. Thank, Thank you. you. And I expect a milkshake at that completion. Absolutely, <laughs> with whipped cream. Okay. <laughs> Ciao. Sure, let's get back, back to work. <laughs> well, for now, all we're looking at are some half baked kitchens, but. Next week, we hope for some steaming hot completed designs. Of course, our judges will be joining us, and there's no doubt that their commentary will be all sorts of spicy. But the big question is, which design duo's kitchen will be the cherry on top? You'll have to stay tuned next time to find out. We'll see you next week, Friday, from me, Danilo Quisa. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.
Afternoon Express. Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.